So I've already auto-focused on the insert. Now I'm just gonna go towards the bottom here, our starting point. I then go down to the bottom image here, where it shows our little start green starting flag. You can either enter in nominals or just click Z and X, and it will pull directly from this information up here. And I'll go to my finishing point, top of the insert, and then we'll drive it near zero, but just to the end of the uh, tool. and Z information at the top. And head back down to V groove. And from here, you can just click start profile scanning procedure. So here the numbers are going to go orange and they're going to want you to drive it to the zero position, which really we just need to get somewhat close. It doesn't have to be exact as long as we're viewing tool at the starting point, then we click confirm operation, continue to measurement cycle, numbers will go green and it's going to start the profile process. Numbers here go orange and then they want us to start going up the tool here. So once again driving it to zero or somewhere very close to zero, clicking next and then it'll add a piece more of the profile. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> go. So once it has enough of the tool profile, creates the line we just did. Now here we have a few options here on the right hand side. So when we actually go to create a 3D solid, which we could also uh, do a DXF as well, um, there's actually quite a number of different options we have once we go to generate it. Here, all right, I'll, so I'll export to Veracut. Should be sending over to Verica.